I'm standing here among some of the many crepe myrtles we have available at Smith's Garden Town. Did you know that the crepe myrtle is the official flower of the city of Wichita Falls? The reason for that is after the 1979 tornado, most all the plants and trees in the affected part of town were either blown away or all their leaves were stripped off and they looked like they were dead. But within a few weeks after the tornado, the crepe myrtles that were planted began to leaf out and bloom again, and it gave the people hope that our city was gonna come back to life. And during the drought that lasted five years, most all the crepe myrtles survived just fine. So it's a great plant for this area. You can find them in really tall varieties or some that stay short. But we want to remind you, don't prune them back. We can show you examples of two crepe myrtles in two yards that are right side by side. The one that's never been pruned back is blooming beautifully in June. And the one next door that was severely pruned two years ago has never recovered. So don't commit crepe murder. Don't prune back your crepe myrtles. This is Catherine Smith from Smith's Garden Town.